Welcome to Science Easy Tech Channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about through experimental design. Under this through experimental design, we are going to discuss only post test only design or after test only design. This video is taken from Unit 4 from the subject Nursing Research and Statistics. This video is useful for BSc Nursing students, Post Basic BSc Nursing students as well as students who are studying MSc Nursing. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the contents what we are going to see in this video. So in this video we are going to discuss the various types of through experimental design. Under that we are going to discuss a post test only design or after only design. Types of through experimental design. There are six types of through experimental design. Post test only design, pre test, post test only design, Solomon four group design, factorial design, randomized block design, crossover design. So under this already I have posted videos on Solomon four group design, factorial design, randomized block design and crossover design. If you have not watched those videos I have given the uh, link of nursing research and statistics play list in the description box suggested end card and i card or you can watch our channel playlist for more videos post test only design what is this post test only design so it is otherwise called as after only design or post test only control design which is composed of two random assigned groups so whenever i am telling about experimental design that two two experimental design means definitely it should uh, fulfill three criterias what are those three criterias first criteria is randomization second criteria you should have a control group third criteria is you should uh, do some manipulation or treatment okay so post test only control design it is composed of two randomly assigned groups that is experimental group and control group both the groups are not tested previously okay so there is no pretest in both the groups okay so both the groups are equivalent at the baseline because you are not doing any pretest for both experimental group and control group but what you are doing is you are implementing treatment or manipulation only to the experimental group and not to the control group. Okay, so what I told there is no pretest for experimental group and control group. But treatment is given only for experimental group and not control group. Then post test you are doing for both experimental and control group. So no pretest treatment only for experimental group. Post test you are doing after the treatment you are doing for experimental group and control group but for control group there is no treatment. So no pretest for both experimental and control group treatment only for experimental group but not for control group post test is for both experimental group and control group. So this design is helpful in situations where it is not possible to pre-test the subjects where you cannot test the subjects previously that time you can use this design. For example, a study on educational intervention related to contraception among couples. So, a study on educational intervention related to contraception among couples. So, here educational intervention they are giving only to experimental groups. So, in both groups, pretest pre is not conducted. Okay, for experimental group, they have given educational intervention related to contraception among couples. Then, what they are doing after that, they are testing post test only is given for both experimental group and control group. So, what are all the advantages of this uh, post test only design? So, it can be see it can be done for studies where pre test is not possible, as I have told earlier. So, it is not affected by reactions of pre testing. Sometimes we are giving a pre test and you are giving intervention and you are doing post test. So, in that time, 
pre-test already they know the question something so for post-test preparation uh, they can uh, remember those questions and they can find the answers also okay but so that you cannot tell whether because of your intervention only uh, uh, they gain knowledge like that so there may be some chances of uh, errors uh, or effect of pre-test on post-test but here you are not conducting any pre-test so directly you are giving intervention and you are giving post test so you can tell because of the intervention only the scores have increased or the knowledge has increased but again there is a disadvantage here also which i will be dealing when i was taking disadvantages of this design next the treatment and control group is equal or equivalent at baseline so when you are starting because for both the thing you have not given pre test uh, for treatment group as well as control group so both are equivalent at baseline data then external threats or external factors are controlled see there are internal threats and external threats which we have discussed um, so external threats as well as internal threats are there for any study so here the external factors or external threats are minimized because you are doing it in a controlled uh, setting so you can control the external threats Moving on to the disadvantages, so you require large sample size and large sample size sometimes if the study is for long term and all no then there may be chances for some dropouts of subjects also then less generalizability of findings because you cannot tell only because of your intervention the scores are good the results are good because you cannot compare because you are giving an intervention and you are doing a post test but when your test will be very effective means you have done a pre-test you have done an experiment then you have compared with post test results in such a case see in pre test they have got only 20 out of 50 after giving my intervention the scores has improved to 42 out of 50 so it is only because of my intervention the scores has improved like that you can tell that but without any pre-test comparison data you cannot tell that only because of your intervention the scores have increased so this is the major drawback for post test only design then there may be chances for bias is there and you cannot you are not able to clearly explain the treatment effect as i have told earlier the explanation with regard to treatment how much effective your treatment or your intervention is uh, you cannot elicit because you are not comparing with pre-test results so this is with regard to the disadvantages so in this video we have discussed about post-test only design or after test only design we have seen the uh, simple introduction about this design as well as an example along with advantages and disadvantages hope this video is clear for you all if you like my video please give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel as i have told earlier in my uh, uh, previous videos i have discussed about solomon four group design factorial design crossover design randomized block design which also comes under through experimental design you can watch our channel playlist for those videos nursing research and statistics as well as i want to tell in my next video i'll be posting on pre-test post-test only designer thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel